So PS5 Pro has been leaked. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, studs and chats, put your kids to beds, hide your wives, because look at our streets, all right? The PS5 Pro is trending, the Kratos is trending. I wanna talk about Kratos in a little bit, and this is a real footage of a scalper that is just looking, looking to buy the PS5 Pro, right? This is really how it be, and I know that some of you will be looking at me, will be like, Skizzle, tell me this is cap. And I wanna talk about whether this is cap or no cap in this video. Uh, I wanna say this right in the beginning that yes, Sony did file a patent for the PS5 Pro, so in that regards, it is no cap. But are we really gonna see it? Uh, we're, we're gonna talk about it. We also got news about the Uncharted trailer. We also got the Modern Warfare Next Gen upgrade, RTX 3060 Ti. We also have news about the PS5 and Xbox restock, and I wanna start this video off with that God of War news, okay? So let's just get right into it. If an alpha chat like you is new here, I cover all the big gaming news, so definitely subscribe. And shout out to every single one of you for a thousand likes on the last video. Your support is greatly appreciated, but our first story is about God of War, and I want you guys to take all of this in, okay? Because this is Kratos straight from 2018, this is organic, this is raw material, this is a real deal, and now take a look at this, okay? Now this information is coming straight from the homie Allier, he says that Kratos leak via the PlayStation Store as a skin coming to Fortnite this season, and take a look at Kratos, I mean, they really did this to him, okay? They really did my man like that, I mean, look at, look at, look at how clean my man looks, okay? Look, look, look at how clean my man looks, right? There are no wrinkles whatsoever, and to be honest, it reminds me of that PS2 God of War skin, right? Like, the first God of War. This looks like a PS2 skin, man, and they, they really did my man like that. This is blasphemy, okay? And of course, we have had a ton of leaks that say that we're gonna be getting God of War PS5 demo at, at the Game Awards, right? And homies are now wondering, hey, what if we get PS5? Fortnite demo where we actually see God of War, where we actually see the Kratos skin, you know, Kratos, God of War, PS5 demo straight from Fortnite, I mean, it, it really do be like this, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, I still suspect that we're gonna be actually seeing the God of War trailer, maybe gameplay, a little bit of gameplay at Game Awards, and in a way, this kinda confirms that we're gonna see it. I know that some of you will be looking at me and will be like, how, Skizzle, tell me how! The reason I think here is because it, it's Kratos, right? We have heard about God of War, it is already confirmed to be coming out next year this is a Kratos skin it's gonna be coming out in Fortnite Fortnite is one of the biggest game out on planet Earth like let me keep a buck 50 I'm not sure on what planet you guys are on but hey on planet Earth Fortnite is one of the biggest game okay it also has the Sony Studios logo at the bottom right hand corner which is kind of sus right so I really think that they are looking to promote Kratos and God of War through Fortnite they're looking to promote their next game right and to me it makes sense that we're really gonna see something big for God of War in the coming days and of course the leak is that we're gonna be having something at the Game Awards of course I'm gonna stream that so definitely turn those notifications on but on the other hand we have a 21 year old man straight from California that was put behind bars for for three years California hacker who stole proprietary information from Nintendo is sentenced to three years in prison and he was only 21 years old I mean why did you do that homie why did you actually had to get inside Nintendo and steal their information. The man is now gonna be dropping deuces for three years straight in the prison, so absolutely sad, sad times. But speaking of some good news, we're hearing that Tom Holland is gonna be present at the Game Awards 2020, and the, the question here is that could we get an Uncharted movie trailer at the show? Now, of course, this article goes in depth about it, that yeah, Game Awards is gonna happen on December 10th. Tom Holland has been confirmed to actually be there at, at the, the Game Awards, right? And we know that he's doing the role of Nathan and Drake, so I mean, the chances are high, but obviously, do not let your dogs out, keep your puppers on the leash. Uh, we're gonna know very soon, okay? But speaking of RTX 3060 Ti, uh, I will be diving into the PS5 Pro information next, but this is actually kind of sus. I mean, I really didn't see this coming. I know that we had leaks about the 3060 Ti, which I didn't really cover on the channel because I was like, hey, yeah, they, they came out with 3070, 3080, 3090. There's no way they're gonna come out with another one, okay? But this is coming straight from the video. GeForce website. RTX 3060 Ti coming December 2nd, which is today. It's gonna be faster than 2080 Super and starting at 399. So this is a, this is actually a good deal, dog. Like it's gonna be better than 2080 Super for just for $400. I mean, uh, there there are the scalpers. They're they're ready to feast. They're ready to put this baby for $800 for $1,200 for two grand over on the eBay. I mean, hey man, it really do be like this, okay? They're coming out with another one out here, okay? And the the same logic is uh, I, I wanna apply 
the same logic here. PS5 Pro with two graphics cards is the death blow Xbox Series X didn't see coming. So they're trying to rile up the Xbox Series X crowd out here. Uh, understand that I'm not saying that they are saying that. I know that people like to fight over that. Soldier Boy console is the best console, okay? Can do 500 FPS, okay? Oh God, fax no printer, fax no printer. But this is what we're hearing to us here at T3 that suggests that uh, a next-gen PlayStation console, most likely a new PS5 Pro flagship, supercharged with two graphics cards instead of just one. These would both come in the APU accelerated processing unit, format that PlayStation 5 system on a chip SOC do, with, with the two custom-made AMD APUs working together to deliver enhanced gaming performance and cloud streaming. And this article also talks about the Sony pattern, and it also does talk about that, hey man, we're not gonna see this anytime soon, right? So is it cap? or is it no cap? I wanna talk about this man out here. This is Spawnwave, he's a scientist. I'm not a scientist, okay? He says that the PS5 Pro talk is based on a pattern that was filed at the beginning of 2019 that was based on a dual GPU idea. It's an idea that Sony may have actually had planned for an early concept of the PS5, not a theoretical PS5 Pro. And this makes sense, right? Like to me, this makes sense. Of course, there's a real pattern that Sony filed and PS5 Pro can happen, but what if like, the, these ideas were actually for the PS5 and not for the PS5 Pro. So it's not cap, but in a way, it's kind of cap for now, if that makes sense. But at the end of the day, it's still no cap, okay? PS5 Pro can happen. And if I had to take a guess, it's probably going to happen in two to three years' time. And I remember covering a story where I got the wipe straight from Sony that we're not going to be getting a PS5 Pro. We're just going to jump in with the PlayStation 6 in five to six years' time from now. That's like the vibe I got. I remember covering that story, so I, I want to just say that there were rumors about that as well so of course nobody knows what's gonna happen uh, there are people out there that couldn't even get their hands on the PlayStation 5 and uh, no everyone want to talk about the PlayStation 6 okay and a man from the streets actually spotted the fact that there will be a PS5 upgrade for Modern Warfare as you guys can see the PS5 version is popping and this is coming from Okami and he actually saw this uh, from AS John C 99 so a shout out to them and maybe we're actually gonna see the the PS5 upgrade for Modern Warfare and whenever that happens I'm surely gonna gonna talk about it show you guys how it looks all that good stuff but speaking of the restock we're hearing that Walmart will be selling PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S consoles in Canada this Thursday and we actually have the confirmed tweet this is confirmed story and I mean I'm pretty sure that the Canadian scalpers would be happy AF right now because uh, tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern this is uh, when PS5 will go live, and at 12 p.m. Eastern, Xbox Series X will go live, strict limit of one per household. Due to high demand, shipping times may be longer than usual. Orders are planned to arrive before Christmas. 